In this GNS3 topology, you need to configure both DMVPNs as well as BGP. The next step is to enable encryption on the DMVPN tunnels. At the moment, if I capture packets on the link between ISP4 and ISP2, we can see the traffic in clear text. So as an example, here we can see the EIGRP neighbor relationships being advertised. We can see as an example, which K values are enabled, which a version of EIGRP is being used, and other information. If I filter for ICMP, we don't see any ICMP messages. But if I get Ubuntu 4 to ping Ubuntu 1, we can see the ICMP messages. So we can see that this is customer router 4 sending traffic to customer router 1. It's GRE traffic. And within the GRE tunnel, we can see the original IP addresses involved in the conversation. So we can see that the local PC is pinging 10.1.1.12. So 10.1.4.12 is pinging 10.1.1.12. And then we can see ping request. Here's the reply. Ping request, ping reply. So the traffic on the internet is in clear text. Now, when you're sending traffic across the internet, you don't want to send it in clear text. You want to encrypt the traffic. So what we want to do is edit our DMVPN tunnels to use IPsec. And going back to the VPN config generator, what I'm going to do now is simply copy the full configuration from the VPN config generator. Originally, the hub site didn't have encryption, but now we're going to add the IPsec encryption. We're going to create an ISA KMP policy. You could change these values if you wanted to. We're going to specify a pre shared key of Cisco 123. Notice the address is anyone. So this router will accept connections from anyone. Here's our transform set. Here's our IPsec profile, which we are referencing on the GRE tunnel. So this GRE tunnel is now referencing this IPsec profile, which is referencing this transform set called MySet, which is using this ISA KMP policy and the mode is set to transport mode. So I can copy this configuration and I'll simply paste it in to customer router one. Now, before I do that, show DMVPN. We can see that we've got three dynamic connections. Show IP EIGRP neighbor. We've got three neighbor relationships, but those will disappear once I paste in the configuration. So I'll paste in the configuration from the VPN config generator. Notice we are receiving messages. Packets received are not IPsec packets. We can also see that EIGRP neighbor relationships have gone down. So show IP EIGRP neighbors. We don't have any neighbor relationships. Show DMVPN. These tunnels will eventually time out and be torn down. Show crypto, IPsec SA. We don't have any traffic being sent at the moment, but we are receiving errors. Notice traffic received is not an IPsec packet. We can see connections from other devices. This is customer router three. Here's customer router two but we're getting errors on the connections. Show crypto, ISA KMP. 
Security Association. Notice we're getting deletions. We need to configure IPsec on both sides. So back in the VPN config generator, I'm gonna copy the configuration for the spoke site and paste that into Sublime Text. Note this is the configuration for site two. So we'll need to edit this for the other sites. But again, notice we've got our crypto ISA KMP policies. We've got our passwords and transform sets set here. So I'll copy that. On customer router two, we can see that the ERGRP neighbor relationship went down. So we're not seeing neighbor relationships. Show DMVPN. We can see the configuration, but it's not working right. So as an example, if I try and ping the other side of the tunnel, it's not working because we haven't got encryption configured on this side. So I'll paste the configuration in. We can see now that the EIGRP relationship has come up. So show IP EIGRP neighbor, neighbor relationship has come up. Can we ping 192.168.1.1? Yes, we can. So that's working now. Show crypto, ISA KMP Security Association. We've got a security association from ourselves to customer router one. Show crypto, IPsec Security Association. We can see packets encrypted, packets decrypted. And that will continue to increase because of the EIGRP neighbor relationships. But as an example, if I ping router one across the tunnel, notice the encrypted and decrypted packets increased quite a lot. And there you go. We can see the interesting traffic information and we can see packets encrypted and decrypted. So that looks great. We should be able to ping from Ubuntu 2 to Ubuntu 1. So can Ubuntu 2 ping Ubuntu 1? Yes, it can.